This auditorium at the Belize Central Prison is filled with men accused of being members of gangs. They are behind prison bars under a state of emergency declared in Southside Belize City for one month. One by one, these men, for the most part sworn enemies outside these prison walls, created a united front in voicing their concerns about police abuse and the lack of jobs and opportunities in their community. Overwhelmed with emotions, this young man used obscene language and he was quickly reprimanded by the CEO of the Belize Central Prison. One individual expressed his frustration with not being able to see the commissioner of police after reportedly making several attempts. He too was quickly shut down. Here, a third accused member noted that jobs have been promised to the young men in his community, but he says those promises have gone unfulfilled. Those exchanges led to some final words from the head table of officials before the men were escorted out of the auditorium and back to their designated holding areas. When we spoke to Minister of Home Affairs Karim Musa after today's engagement, he did not take offense from the emotionally charged comments. The first thing I told him, um, the gentleman at the head table is why did you shut this down just now? It was getting real, it was getting raw, and I wanted to hear from them. And, and I did get to hear from them. But at the same time, these young men are frustrated. Let us not forget that. We are not coming to some uh, hunky-dory place where everybody's all happy, go lucky, singing kumbaya. And while no kumbayas were sung, before the heated conversation, these men were challenged to channel their inner creativity by spending their time behind bars writing a song of their own as a part of their rehabilitation. <laughs> Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.